Hey crew, I just thought I'd show you the finished product. Um, there's a tombstone <laughs> here, the uh, twins just spawned naturally, the hard mode boss. And obviously I was not quite ready to fight them. I swung my cobalt sold a few times and yeah, they sort of just laughed and blew me to pieces. So what I've done is I've just, so there's uh, actually bricks right around this arena, five deep in all directions. I used the builder potion to quickly place it. So it probably only took about 10 minutes. And then what I've done is collected some grass, jungle grass seeds and I've put solid strips for now just to help it spread as quick as possible. So I've planted seeds in the walls, in the, each floor in the middle. And now because I have to fight all three hard mode bosses before I can uh, summon Plantera anyway, I'm just gonna pretty much leave this arena now. And yeah, just go off and play the game. And then when I'm ready to fight Plantera, which hopefully will be sooner rather than later, um, this should be nice and jungle grassed and ready to spawn the Plantera bulbs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably remove some of the torches because I don't want them to block the bulbs from spawning. Um, I'm not sure if that affects it or not, or I could just put them higher in the wall, I suppose, like put them up there instead. Actually, that's probably a better idea. So I'll do that off camera. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you make a underground, sorry, excuse me, uh, underground uh, jungle biome. So yeah, it's going to be really cool. Can't wait to fight Plantera in here. Obviously, I'll make some platforms so I can jump up and down between levels too. Cool. Thanks, guys. See ya. Okay, welcome back, guys. So I did a bit of wyvern research, and it said on the wiki that the higher you go, the more likely you are to find them. So I'm going to... It's not going to be pretty, but I'm just going to keep extending our... Uh, bridge higher into space. It said if you've spawning harpies then it should turn up. It also said it's quite rare. So the only conclusion I can make is I must have just had really good luck in other games spawning it. And it just said flat out the higher you go the better chance there is to spawn them. So. Alright, so I'm at the top of the map. So what I'll do is I'll make a short little runway here. <laughs> the gravity is so different up here. Whoops. Okay, let's make a little runway. So basically as soon as it spawns I'm going to drop back to a lower level though. Because the gravity makes it you just move too slow up here. And if it doesn't spawn soon, I'll, I guess I'll go get a blue candle. Oh, I mean a water candle. Alright, so we'll just walk back and forward, jump a bit, kill some hoppers. At least I'm collecting feathers, I guess. Pew pew. And we'll drop we'll drop in between the levels. Do a bit of back and forward business. Okay. Come on, hop here. So there's nothing wrong with the level I'm at. I thought maybe I was too high, but it said higher the better. So the only other thing I can think of is maybe I'm too close to my spawn. It might count, even though it's sideways, it might count the, uh, the bed uh, vertically. But it doesn't say anything about that on the wiki page, so go figure. Alright, we'll just put platform there so I can get through. 
You watch, as soon as I decide to go back down, it'll spawn. Or I'll use a magic mirror and I'll see it, like, attack me. Okay, let's try going sideways a bit. A bit of magic copper. Wow, this is crazy. It's strange because there's not even, um, harpies spawning that much. Hmm. Okay, well, if I was worried about spawn rates. <laughs> oh, the rain's turned red. That's a bit eerie. Well, we're about to find out if uh, this will help it spawn. I mean, I suppose there might be like a... You know, a 1 out of 30 chance that a wyvern spawns instead of a harpy. Ah, there we go. Finally! You shy little guy, where you been? I've been missing you, man. Whoa. I'll stop flying around so much. Okay, this isn't too difficult. So pretty much I only need to kill the one wyvern at the moment. Um, I was a bit disappointed when I found out that all wings function the same. I thought there might be like a benefit for finding rarer materials. And I think it's definitely something they could look at implementing into the game. Oops, I think the wyvern died. Uh, the souls of flight. <laughs> appear up where it um, died. So what I need to do is get up here. Oh, so many hoppers! Alright, here we go. I think... How many souls of flight do you need? I think it's 20 for wings. Okay, well this is an all-in Harpy Wyvern Smackdown now, so if we're worried about lack of action, there's plenty to go around now. I just popped a, um, one of the, uh, eating buffs and accidentally used an iron skin as well, but just trying to speed up the damage a bit. So I'll probably farm, if they're dropping 5 souls a fight, I'll farm 4 of them and get 20 souls and that should do for a while. I actually thought they dropped more but, oh well. Oop, I think it's died off screen again, yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, on 9, so they can drop more. Alright, one more should do it then. 5, 9, 14, average of 7. Yeah. Come on, Wyverns! I've said it before, but I love how this game goes from... You know, you can barely climb like a wall at the start of the game. And you're slow as anything to... You know, you become this agile, jumping, shooting, laser beaming... You know, just... Really mobile character. They do it very well. One Wyvern, one more. I'll move off screen. Sometimes uh, you can see there's a few uh, of the corruption mobs underneath. I think, look, I don't know for sure, but I think sometimes the game imposes like a limit on spawns. And at the very least, I, I feel that removing some of the lesser mobs can affect spawn rate. How much gold have I got? Eh, not as much as I thought I was getting. Come on, Wyvern. Where are you? Let's do this. Ooh, look at that moon. Oh, there it is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So 
So it does seem that being higher did affect the spawn rate somewhat. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if I can melee this. It's usually not recommended, but it does seem to be doing more damage. Hmm. There wasn't so many harpies around. What's that doing? About 70. How much is the blaster doing? Yeah, the melee is doing more damage. Just have to time when you run through. Oh, yeah? Ah! How much did I get off this one? 10! Okay, cool. So I can make some wings now. And finally stop attacking all these annoying pests. Alright. Ah, leave me alone. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, because a lot of my bases are flying, I should be fairly safe. So, how do you make wings again? Oh, I think I need pixie dust. Yeah, that's ringing a bell. Where's a guide? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's check this out. So, solar flight. Jeez, so many wings. Hoverboard, cool. Beetle, ghost, spooky. Hmm, ice feathers, that's pretty cool. So, I could make giant harpy wings right now. Have we got enough feathers? Hmm. I don't think I've got that many souls of light. It looks like I'm making harpy wings. Oh, I need a giant harpy feather. I don't think I've got that. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't make any wings. Alright. Uh, pixie dust is actually pretty easy to collect. So, especially during a blood moon. I think there's hello to the right of my base. What on earth is that? A clown? I've never seen that monster. Is it dropping anything good? Mm, no. I reckon you'd find that clown monster drop something really cool. Alright. So, I'm gonna go check out the hallowed. Which I think is to the right. Go away, corruptor. Okay. So, we're really legging it here. I like how in hard mode you go from being like pretty strong at the start the end of normal mode to you like you are so ridiculously weak when hard mode starts. It's uh, it's really well done. And I'm in danger of dying here. Two, one. I actually need to mine some um, of this meteorite. Ah, go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm getting so low. Those turtles hit like a beast. Come on. You can stun knock them though. Go away, Harpy. Go away. Ah! Go away. Oh my gosh. Can I shoot it? Okay. Turtles actually drop turtle shells. I know, it's not a bad joke. And um, they're actually used to craft in game uh, equipment, so it's pretty cool. I think. Can you blow up meteorite? I need dynamite or bombs? Can't remember. Bombs will do it! Beautiful. The only reason I'm mining meteorite is to make a phase blade, which is. Somewhat similar to a cobalt sword, but it just buffs a bit higher and is auto swing, which is beautiful. Okay. Alright, go away. Okay. Haven't picked the best time to mine it, but anyway. Alright, actually, if I can quickly dig a. Come on, bombies. Ah, oh, no, it's another turtle. Ah! Holy crap! This is 
so out of control. <laughs> oh, now there's bats and... Good... Oh my gosh! Oh, boy! 22 health. No! <laughs> <laughs> and didn't you say two health on it? Oh my damn you. I think the blood moon just ended too. That'll be right. Okay. So let's go and rescue our money. Because yeah, <laughs> and I was on my way to the hallowed area, so two birds, one stone and all that. Oh, hello. Did I just pass it? Oh no, here it is. Cool. No, uh, four gold. Yeah, it was worth saving. Okay, so keep the mud. Alright, let's keep moving. So we're trying to find an above ground hallowed. Because that's where pixies spawn. And all the other nasty creatures. But we mainly want the pixies. I can't remember where I saw the hallowed though. My last game, I was lucky it spawned right next to my base, which made collecting all of this stuff really easy. But no. Must be to the left. Or alternately, there just is no above ground hallowed, which means I'll have to spread some. Oh wow. This. It's really interesting, this corruption farm is not really spawning any vile mushrooms. Which I find strange. It just seems to be spawning these. Oh, I know why. Because I put the walls in. You mustn't... Oh. You mustn't be able to have walls. You must think it's under the ground. Oh, that's annoying. So that's why no vile mushrooms are spawning. And here I was thinking, gee, I want it to look cool. So I'd say that's why, because it, it did look weird, like all there was was the uh, vines. That's strange. I'd say it was also stopping um, corrupted... Uh, uh, corruption monsters from spawning as well. So what I'll do is I'll remove this middle part and we'll see if that makes a difference. So obviously mushrooms in the middle with the open air garden means I need to get rid of the walls. Okay, we'll see what happens. I'll be back later. Okay, so onward to the hello. Okay. Hmm. So, it seems like the corruption slash hello hasn't gotten to the top of the world too much. Um, because I've played some games and it's literally a mess right from the start, so I don't know what's caused that exactly. Might be because I haven't broken as many, uh, demon altars as well. So maybe that's a good thing, like if you're trying to preserve your world, don't don't break all the old altars. Okay, so here's corruption. Oh, and this is where I did the... Okay, so that looks like it's working. This is where I threw all those bombs in before. And you can see it's gone down the wall, but hasn't jumped it. Ah, here's some hallowed. Finally. Hallowed and corruption together. Hand in hand. Oh, this is hopeless. I'm going to have to spread some hello myself. By the looks of it.
Yep. Um, that's really strange. His dungeon. Dungeon can't be affected by corruption and hello, so. Okay, that looks like it. So there's the only top world hallowed is that tiny bit between the uh, corruption area there. So I'll stand on the hallowed part and see if any pixies spawn. We'll know soon enough. Just standing there for a few seconds. Hmm, okay. Okay, so we're on the hallow. No. Go away. Hmm. Doesn't look like it wants to do it. Oh no, there's a pixie. Pixie dust. Uh, let's get rid of something. Uh, platinum more will do. It's at three. I could be here a while. <laughs> I could be here a while. Alright. Anyway, I might do uh, the rest off camera. Um, if you don't mind, guys. Um, I might go get some purification powder. And put some halo inside the corruption zone. Um, purification powder, you just use it on the ground, on corruption, and it turns it back into normal dirt. And then you can use hallowed seeds to spread, so that's what I think I'll do. Um, thanks for watching as always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and you're enjoying these videos. And leave a like, uh, it lets me know what you are enjoying and what you're not. And uh, yeah, get involved, uh, leave some comments, you know, tell me what you want to see more of in these videos. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Hey crew, I uh, just thought I'd add on to that video quickly. I went and bought the hallowed seeds off the dryad and I was just walking just to the right of my base, like ridiculously close, and there was a second floating island. And I thought, really, once this all goes hallowed, this patch of dirt, it'll spawn hallowed mobs um, and it's not going to spread, so... It's like a, it's really fortunate, like it's a naturally occurring hallowed zone. Um, so I'm actually quite pleased with it. So I'm just going to basically, yeah, just spread the seeds all throughout it. You just have to get the grass off by hitting it once and turn it back to dirt and then you just plant the seeds. And it should... I'm pretty sure Hallo converts normal grass. So it's just a matter of time. But I might even, to speed the process up, just uh, kill the normal grass bits and see if it works that way. I'm not sure. Oh, it's spreading already. You can see it. So yeah, so this was a really quick and easy way to make a hallowed uh, little island here. Cool. Anyway, uh, next time I'll be farming some hallowed. All right. Thanks.